Oh, bike riding at night, night bike riding, bikes at night. Oh, I'm gonna fall. I don't know what I was, where I was going with that. Um, I hope you can hear me fine because I'm not using the headphones this time. But I just had a crazy experience. Uh, okay, so I came to meet this woman named Melanie. That sounds like a Craigslist thing. Well, it is a Craigslist thing because I met her on Craigslist. Uh, it's not a sexual thing. Don't worry about it, people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, about, like, well, okay, whatever. Uh, this is starting to sound weird. Um, it's about dog walking, right? Um, we went, we went on like a, like a little test walk, uh, because, um, you know, I wanted to see how, how, how the, how hyper the dog was and stuff like that. So we went on a little test walk, and during that walk, we, we came across a bulldog that was, uh, very, he, had, luckily he was friendly, but he kind of got, he was like, he had a collar on, but there was no, um, owner, so he was just wandering around, and he wouldn't leave our dog alone, right? And so I really hope you can hear me because of all the traffic next to me. Over there. So yeah, the dog wouldn't leave us alone. So I told her, you know, I'll, I'll grab him. So she kind of kept still with her dog so that the other dog could kind of keep still. And because we didn't want him to get aggressive or anything. So then I just grabbed him by the neck and by the collar, made sure he didn't bite me. And then I just walked him down the street. And then uh, I saw a lady in her car with her son. The son said uh, that the dog lived right there in that corner house because I asked after I asked them. So I kind of waited around there for a few minutes. I didn't see anyone in the house. Like I knocked and kind of called someone, but there was another dog, so I couldn't really get to the door. The other dog looked mean. Uh, so you know, I'm still holding on to this dog who's pulling and tugging. And then cops pass by. I wave them down, and. Uh, then and my arm starts cramping and I hope I didn't run out of memory. No, I didn't. I keep I'm still going. All right, so my arm, no, not my arm. The dog, you know, the, the cops come and they they knock on the door. This guy across the street tells me that the dog belongs across the street to the house that I was at, but there was nobody there. The cops come, uh, we try to put him back inside the house because we kind of like realized the cops recognize the dog that the dog that I was holding, they said he does live in that house, so we tried to put him back in. But the other dog kind of sticking his big old scary head out. He looked like freaking Cujo. If you guys don't know who Cujo is, look up Cujo the dog. Google that shit. Fucking scary. So the other dog kind of looking like Cujo, except all black. He um trying to come out, poke his head out, and the other the you know the the pip no not pitbull uh it's like a Rottweiler I think I'm not I can't remember. But um he tries. He doesn't want to go back in, and then he kind of escapes off of our leash, off of our hold, and goes on and runs. He then starts running towards a man who's playing outside with his little daughter. She must be like two or three, and the guy freaks out, grabs his daughter, runs her inside the house. The dog is friendly, but still, you know, a big scary dog like that running at you. It's scary, especially if you have a little kid there. So. He runs inside the house, he's like, put that dog on a leash. I'm like, it's not my dog, I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened, but it's not my dog, I just found him. And then the cops come and he's like, oh, I'm sorry. But you know, I was out there with my kid and and we were like, yeah, I know. So we grabbed him, the cops took him and they're like, well, we'll take him in. And uh, I hope, you know, I, he probably jumped the fence. So I don't understand why, I mean, you should be able to tell if your dog can jump the fence that it's being held in. But anyway, uh, dog is safe, everyone's safe, no one's hurt, luckily. And uh, on the really, really bright side, um, you know, I was charging $10 a walk. This woman wants five walks a week. That's $50 in my pocket. And I thought, okay, so if, she does, if it's a little steep, you know, I could go down to like 45 or 40, even 35, right? She agreed to $50 a week and it's all awesome. So I'm gonna be making $70 a week. Oh yeah, that is really awesome. And it's doing something really easy, no taxes. I'm excited, and she lives so close. Like I've been vlogging this whole time. That's literally like the distance, and I'm, I'm like across the street from Denny's. That's the school where my little brother goes to, and I live just like down the street. So it's like a mile away, which is awesome. And the other one's not that far, but it's farther. But still, awesome, right? I know. 